and welcome for the video for today. Today we are going to make a little thing for the child room and you will find a uh, print file in the info box below. The print file will have the cutting template for two of these. Uh, I only made one to start with and I am placing my paper onto my uh, wood piece and then I uh, scratched it on the back and I'm taping it down and then I'm drawing the whole picture onto the wood making sure I have everything before I remove the paper and then I am going to draw up the line of this before I remove the paper totally and then it will be ready for uh, going out to my um, scroll saw and cutting it all out um, I decided on making a lighthouse as well, so on the template you will find the lighthouse there as well. On the template, um, the print file you get here, uh, you will find the templates for the two pieces. You will also find the template's colors, so you can see the colors of them without going into my video all the time for finding those. And now you may be wondering what these are. These are some height measuring um, pictures that you can hang on the wall and then um, show how high your kids are on these. So it is a kind of a child height measuring tool that you have on the walls. I really don't know the name for these in English. So if you know, please let me know. And now it is time to cut them out on my scroll saw. I sanded them really good so that they were nice and smooth and soft to the touch. And I did that on both of them. Then I took a pencil and I uh, drew in the details that I wanted on these. Uh, this giraffe is actually one I found online that you can really get for your kids and I really really loved it so that's why I'm doing this one. Um, so I'm just taking the details that I see on the original ones. Now it is time for painting and you can of course do it yourself but I'm gonna go quickly through it here. First of all I painted the body and the top of the head of this um, giraffe in a yellow color and I just took my time with this. I think I gave it around three or four layers of this yellow color. So it is a good idea to paint everything white first and then draw on your pattern and then paint it after that so you don't have to paint like four or five layers or three or four layers here. Then I mixed a tiny bit of yellow with a tiny bit of white so I got this little uh, yellowish, very light yellowish color and I am painting the tummy here and this front part of the tummy on this little giraffe. I used a light brown for these things on the head and for the muscle. Then I am using a big dotting tool to make the uh, dots on the giraffe. Again, the same light blue color as I just used. Just making a lot of dots here and there on the little giraffe. And I also colored the two legs that is uh, the furthest away with this brownish color. Then 
Then I used a darker brown color to make the nostrils on the little giraffe, just with a dotting tool and then carefully dotting the nostrils in place. I mixed a very lightish pink color and I made the cheeks with a big dotting tool and then I am going to paint the inner ear with this one as well. Give me a second, my cat is demanding my presence right now. Little fatty. And I'm back, I hope. Um, I'm using some black paint here and a dotting tool and making kind of oblong eyes for the uh, giraffe. Painting the tail and then the hoof of this giraffe. And that's a paint job done. So I am putting this to the side and leaving that for at least 24 hours before I put on the numbers, the measurements here on this one. So let's go to the next one. I gave the lighthouse a um, base coat of white and then I painted in the white pieces of uh, the ribbons around the lighthouse. And then I also gave the lighting bulb area a slightly um, yellowish color to look like there's light in there. And now I am painting the rest of this piece here with the red so it has the white and the red lines around that is very normal for the Danish lighthouses to look like that. Then I am using a black paint to paint the details around the light bulb here on the top and the roof of it. And I'm also making some small lines to kind of cage the light inside of the building. Um, but you can paint this just like you feel like it. Then I'm going to use a yellow, a light green and a dark green paint for the uh, little tree and for the grass underneath the lighthouse. So I'm kind of mixing them together, these colors, and um, I'm not painting them on, but more like um, um, what you call that, dabbing them on with this uh, flat pencil I have here. And I'm just mixing the colors like I really think that would look good here. Then I'm using a tiny dotting tool and making those small wisps of grass uh, poking over the lighthouse here and that actually looks really really great. Then I forgot to hit the record button when I made the tree trunk so I made the tree trunk with this brown color here and made a few um, what you call that branches on the tree as well and they actually turned out really nice. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't get to record that better than this. Now leave that to dry for 24 hours as well. Subscribe, like and ring the bell button. For those of you with a 3D printer, I did make them for 3D printing and you will find the link for them in the info box below. Thank you for today. I'll see you tomorrow.